What's up guys, it's Logan here from the Motorcycle Forge and today we're going to be putting our DT175 motor which we've modified back in the motorcycle. Before we install the motor there's a couple things we've got to do. We've got to fit the stator assembly to the motor. A super important thing to take note of when you're installing your plate which is also your ignition pickup is to have it timed correctly. So too much one way, too much advance, you're going to melt a hole in the piston, too much the other way, you lose power and it may not run correctly. Once we've got our pickup plate on here nice and tight, we've got our rotor which has got to go on, it's got a keyway which you can see down there, and we're going to line that up with the one on the crank. Once the rotor is on we just use our locking tool and torque it to spec. Time to slap this bad boy back in the front. That's our clutch installed and adjusted, and our shifter on as well. Read block and intake manifold are on and looking super sexy. Next up is our 28mm flat slide carb. <laughs> and to make this carb work with the oil pump, I've had a brass fitting fitted to the right hand side of the carb. So I've just finished fitting all the bits and bobs, cable done, oil in and out connected to the oil pump, and the carbs plumbed in. Next up is bleeding the oiling system. So the first step of that is we need to remove the bleed screw and wait till oil is flowing out and no bubbles are present. Now the second half of bleeding the system oil, we need to get oil all the way from where it comes out of the pump here all the way into the carburetor. To do that we just pull this cable advancing the oil pump to maximum feed and kick the motor over to pump the oil through. So that kicking it over with the bleed, well with the oil pump at the maximum is taking forever. If you can see that there, we've moved maybe 5 mil up the tube. So I'm just going to take the tube off and fill it from the top door. Right, so now that the oil feed is all bled up and installed, looking super good. I've chucked some oil in the transmission and made sure it's at the right level. I've done the wiring, plugged all that in. Now as you can see I have fitted the air box but we're not going to be using it for an air box as such but it holds the battery. So with the air box how it is at the moment with no, well, no air box, it'll be okay to run and start it up, check, make sure everything's working alright but I'm not going to use it on the road like this so I'm going to make a fiberglass air box so it'll go in place of this and it will have a proper fitting which will go into there and it will stop any debris and will have a proper filter. And just off camera, I've just fitted the chain and the front sprocket, done the lock tab. So the left hand side of the motor is completely done. I'm just going to chuck on our cover. Next up is our de-restricted ceramic coated expansion chamber. So let's get that on the bike. A little bit of finessing and we've got the expansion chamber in there and it's bolted up there. We did have to move the carb. As you can see, the carb is very close to the expansion chamber, so I had to tilt it slightly to the left. Now let's put the rest of the exhaust system on. Now that we've got all our exhaust in position, we're gonna start tightening it down. So we're gonna tighten the two nuts that hold the front of the exhaust on there. There's a mount up there, this bolt here, two clamps, and this nut and the muffler. The reason we do them up in that order is to alleviate stress. So after a year and a half, my DT175 is fully together. We've got our motor all assembled, batteries in, it's got fuel, it's got someone to ready to kick it over, and it's looking super sharp. All right, let's see if we can get it to go. Just got back from a fang down the street on the newly rebuilt DT175 with all the mods. It went so well, it spat the chain straight out the back. But apart from that, it went good. Just a few small tweaks to the jetting and it should be sweet to go. And on that note, this has been Logan from the Motorcycle Forge. I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.